video, I promise, okay? Last video, I promise. Okay. All right, this. Hi, how's it going? Oh, Mike's not here. All right, there you go. Are you getting insane? Hold on, what's going on? You with this? All right. <sighs> All right. Where was I? Okay. Oh, you're pushing off me. All right, how's it going guys? I'm Mr. Mill. I am the art teacher at Homestead Elementary and this is the fourth through fifth grade uh, art preview or art lesson overview. So um, I've been saying along with the K through three, uh, this isn't everything. I couldn't take everything home for obvious reasons, uh, but this is just a quick preview of some stuff that we could do or not do, I don't know. Uh, but we'll see what's going on. I already pre-recorded some uh, read alouds and maybe I could do some lessons based on those. But anyways, I just wanna show you a quick preview of stuff I brought home from school <laughs> and uh, and uh, let's take a look at them and see what they're about so if you're in fifth grade you might see some familiar stuff from fourth grade um, fourth graders you'll see what you're gonna do next year I guess and stuff like that so anyways let's get to looking what's going on so over here is my son Carter and he is antsy as anything I'm gonna try to make sure I calm him down you okay I gotta show <laughs> I gotta show uh, my kids my other 600 kids what lessons they could be doing okay you're not my only son. <laughs> You're not my only kid. <laughs> All right, ready? Okay, so um, I haven't decided how this is gonna work, but All right, you're going. <laughs> One more. You're, you're gonna go upstairs with mom if you keep acting up like this. Dad's gotta do. The... Dad's gotta. Dad's gotta do work. That's how dad pays for stuff. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Uh, I played with him for the. I played with Carter for like an hour and then gave him to my wife. So, anyways, uh, where was I? Oh. Fourth grade. So, uh, what fourth grade uh, normally does is this monochromatic ice cream cone, and uh, we kind of stack the ice cream like this, so we can learn uh, from shade versus tint, and we basically go from light to dark, or you know, vice versa. Anyways, um, so we can choose any color. It's normally done with paint, but uh, I gotta figure out how to do it online uh, with minimal supplies. So we normally do that. If we don't, we'll figure something else out. Um, I thought about doing this one. This one uh, belongs to me. Um, this is a uh, weaving. Uh, basically, you paper weave with the strips of paper, construction paper. So you do need construction paper eventually to make this kind of art. We kind of like, trim the edges and do the whole page. But um, I think this is my uh, teacher example. So, anyways, there's that. So we will be doing weaving. Uh, we will be doing a Chicago cityscape. Um, I don't know what technically what it's going to be for, but it might be for a landscape unit or something like that. Uh, but here's my example, and I did it with uh, fourth grade last year, I think. And uh, they did a really good job. So there's that. Um, and again, I probably said it before. I'll probably say it again. Uh, this isn't everything. Uh, this is just a sum of some stuff that I could have, that I could take home. Uh, I didn't want to take home a whole big folder home. This wasn't my intention. I had like no space. Uh, but anyways, there's that. So anyways, let's move on to fifth grade. Um, I did do a couple pre-recorded videos of uh, me reading some books. So we might do some projects based on those books on their own. So anyways, uh, let's talk about this one right here. Um, this one is kind of like uh, initials. It could be your own initials or just like words of your choice. Uh, this belongs to a student, I believe. Um, yes, it does. So she did OMG. And then the idea is to do Zentangle patterns for each section. So I think I think I made a requirement for like seven per section. So this is considered a section, this is considered a section, and this is considered a section. And um, I think they had to do uh, sand, sans serif, and uh, bubble letters. And I think they did a really good job. I Pretty sure that was a requirement but i gotta double check my notes but i'm pretty sure that was the uh, part of this project so i like it it's very easy i think this project could be done at home not a problem so there's that um this one right here uh we normally do this every year so you're gonna need a ruler for this one and any sort of color material so this is gonna be a tree and basically you have to learn uh from what we learned in second grade or i think first grade actually uh light or warm versus cool colors and we kind of go from there and each block is signified by a different color and um, you kind of draw like with a circle or a plate, uh, the tree outline itself, and it looks really cool. So we're gonna probably do this. Um, I'll try to find an example. This doesn't belong to me. Yep, it belongs to someone else. And uh, it's a really good example. Don't know, I think that's another one that never got passed out. <laughs> There's that. Now these ones, I'm not sure if it's gonna fit on the whole page, so I'm just gonna extend it off uh, this way first, see if it fits. Okay, so this is not a non-finished project. Basically, uh, when you think of a landscape, you think of, you know, horizontal format. Um, however, we never think of a vertical format. And that's when Japanese paintings come into play and talked about in the art room. So we're gonna talk about Japanese paintings and then try to formulate our own plan on how to draw landscapes vertically. So here's one example. Uh, here's another example. I think this might not fit. Okay, 
cage. Yeah, it's not gonna fit. So I'm gonna turn this one horizontally so you guys can see. So it goes from here, so the bushes from the foreground. So that's another vocabulary word that we'll learn later on. To, so the foreground, to the background, and even beyond. So this is really cool. Nice example, not that much detail, but um, it's a good example, a good start of uh, what vertical landscaping uh, looks like. So, uh, and again, this isn't all the projects that we'll do, that we will do, but um, it's quite a few of uh, what we will be doing. So there's that. So hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, this is probably the fifth video of the week. And uh, it's a lot of work. Uh, video editing does take a long time for me, along with all these cameras. There's a camera up there, there's a camera right there. Uh, this can te technically be used as a camera on the phone, which sometimes I do. And I think there's another camera over there somewhere. But anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna end this video short here. Uh, it doesn't have to be long. I just wanna do a quick overview of what to expect from your grade level. So anyways, have a good one. I'm gonna see what Carter's up to upstairs and uh, enjoy your week. Bye-bye. Right,